Hey guys, this is Grant and Mikey. Yep, a doo. Hey yo. Well, we are here once again for a whiteboard session about audition, how you can use it to try out new pedals on your pedal board without having to repatch, and as you can see, how you can use it to make use of your amp's effects loop also without having to repatch. Here we go. We're going to dive in and get straight to it. Three, two, one, go. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> okay, so you can see here you have a guitar running through a few pedals over to the amp. In the middle is Audition. When nothing is plugged into the send and return jacks of Audition, which are right on the top here, signal passes uninterrupted as if it wasn't there at all. But this is not a typical day. This is new pedal day. As you can see right here in purple. Audition can now be used to try out a new pedal without having to repatch your pedal board and make a huge mess of things. All you have to do is take two patch cables from the send jack, go to the input of your new pedal, from the output jack of your new pedal, back to the return of Audition. Now signal is rerouted automatically to the new pedal, back to Audition and carries on to your amp. And you didn't actually have to repatch your pedal board to do it. You can see as well, We've drawn a very fancy power supply right at the bottom here. Probably one of the best I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I'm inspired to play that whole rig just based on that power supply alone. I think that says it all. <laughs> People are already texting in to talk about this power supply. More on that later. So what that means you can do is you can take the power pass through of Audition, since it's completely passive, all you're doing is taking this power line, power up Audition, which then can send power to your new pedal. This is a great feature because it means you can now put this pedal off the side of your pedal board if you don't have space. All you need is space for Audition, which can fit under another pedal or underneath an angled pedal board. The other thing you can do is you can use Audition to um, insert a volume pedal on the side of your board. You might not need it for all the gigs you're in. Um, so for certain gigs, put a volume pedal beside your board, patch it in, it's inserted after your overdrives, and you're good to go. That is how you try out new pedals with Audition. Okay, as you can see, we now have a standard pedal board, dry effects, wet effects, all running into the front end of an amp. This is great and best illustrated with a little scenario. Mikey, this may or may not be true, likes to play at his local Lawn Bowls Club. True? True. Mikey also loves to play at his Lawn Bowls Club, mostly using Frank Sinatra and Coldplay covers. True? It's unconventional, but it works. It's what the people want. Yep, yeah, and I give it to them. So that's Mikey's life. And... What Mikey does is runs these effects into a clean amp, as Frank and Coldplay would tend to do. It sounds awesome. It sounds great, yeah. Do you want to actually show us kind of the clean tones you normally use? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like I'm at the club. Now... If you're also like Mikey, after playing four straight hours of Frank Sinatra and Coldplay, there's some extra pent-up emotion. True? <laughs> yes, it's often the case. And so what Mikey does to release said emotion is go to the local old folks' home and also gives them what they want, is, uh, which is also Metallica covers. True? That's also true. If Mikey runs those beautiful, chimey clean tones we just heard into the front end of an amp, whilst also hitting its onboard overdrive uh, and preamp gain that's built in, it's not going to sound great. We're going to show you everything into the front end of an amp with preamp gain also being used and what it does to those wet effects. Same settings on the delay, by the way.
So what you can hear there, right at the end especially, is when Mikey stopped playing, you heard the repeats of the delay, and it was coming into the front end of the amp with the onboard preamp gain. And what's happening is as this delay volume, those repeats decrease, it changes the characteristics of the built-in overdrive or built-in preamp gain on this amp. It's almost like you're winding down your volume on your guitar um, going into these overdrives over here. Not really what you're after. So what you can do, given that the old folks do have quite a keen ear, is you can change how you write... What's they, that? They are fussy. They, they tip, especially when it comes to Metallica. Gladys pulls me up every time. Every week. Come on, Gladys. No, I appreciate it. Just <laughs> keep me honest. You can't get sloppy. Honest when to you, the, the genre. You can't be sloppy when it comes to Metallica covers. Speaking of that, what we're going to do is use Audition. And we're going to move these effects uh, right now in this example of volume delay and reverb into the effects loop of the amp without having to repatch the pedal board. How? Great question. So glad you asked. We're going to go from Audition Send Jack and we're going to go to the input of the amp. From the effects end of the amp, usually on the back of the amp, we're going to come back to the effects, uh, the return jack on Audition from the effects send. Then you carry on into your volume. The reason that we're putting this here as well is because it's uh, essentially moving that preamp and treating it like another overdrive in this dry chain. So now we have overdrive, preamp gain, and then we move into the volume pedal. Now we're into delay, reverb, and we finish the loop by going back into the effects return of the amp. And yes, we are gonna show you another audio example of how that sounds. Exactly the same settings playing the same GDA. <laughs> So now what you can hear is those repeats of that delay uh, are now all equally overdriven as they decrease in volume. It's not changing the characteristics of that effects loop. Okay, so we've been through the features of Audition. There is one more thing to talk about. I know it's been nagging you, and we are finally here. The white push button. Why is it there? In short, there are certain times where you are going to want to permanently leave jacks into the send and return. The downside to this is it will always be taking signal and rerouting signal to those send and return jacks. So for instance, if it's under an angled pedal board, permanently wired up to some side jacks on that pedal board, sometimes you'll use them, sometimes you won't. So what you're gonna do is when you don't want to route signal to those side jacks, push the white push button in and signal will permanently be routed from the input jack straight to the out and that's it the white push button will ignore these jacks entirely. That's why it's there, and that's why you should give it a try.